Yeah, Mark, foreign governments like Saudi Arabia's aren't allowed to donate money to American politicians, so they often give to nonprofits linked to the politicians. Senator McClain, McCain claimed today there was no link, and after a few minutes, he cut off questions about the donation. Senator John McCain is one of the capital's most important voices on matters of war and peace. Thank God for the Saudis and Prince Bandar. We're starting to see a little bit of reversal there. We're now learning the government of Saudi Arabia donated $1 million to the McCain Institute for International Leadership, a nonprofit that bears the senator's name. I'm proud that the institute is named after me, but I have nothing to do with it and except that they use my name, which I am honored, just as the Goldwater Institute uses Goldwater's name. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's been pummeled over foreign contributions to the nonprofit Clinton Foundation. McCain laughed off any comparison. Look, my friend, look at what <laughs> Clinton Institute has raised in the form of money. I mean, come on. There's no connection there. But government ethics watchdogs say there's a reason the McCain Institute is getting Saudi money. And anyone who's going to give, chip in a million dollars or more to the McCain Institute is going to get John McCain's ear. McCain's positions on the Middle East largely square with Saudi Arabia's. This is, this is in Saudi Arabia's interest to try to influence John McCain. McCain's Republican primary opponent, Kelly Ward, has questions about that influence. And with all the turmoil in the Middle East, I don't want any, um, any touch of impropriety that could um, come along with that. But McCain drew the line on questions about the Saudi donation. One more question about the McCain Institute. They were kind I, of... I, I've answered all the questions. Were, I, I have answered all the questions I'm going to answer on it. McCain established the Institute three, four years ago at Arizona State University with an $8 million gift of cash left over from his 2008 presidential campaign. In the newsroom, Graham Resnick, 12 News.